Good evening. I'm Emily Flores. And I'm Glenn Mills. Thanks so much for joining us. We do begin tonight in Spanish Fork, where city leaders, state legislators, and the Utah Inland Port Authority are meeting to discuss and make official the Spanish Fork Virk Industrial Park project area. ABC 4's Annika Johns joining us live in Spanish Fork after attending the meeting there. And Annika, can you give us a bit of a rundown of what happened this evening? Absolutely, Emily. So an inland port is coming to Spanish Fork and people aren't too happy about it. During the meeting today, they said that the plan for the port is set to have the project area be located around I-15, Highway 6, the Union Pacific and the Spanish Fork Airport, and it will all be located in, when, within around it. UIPA says that the creation and location of the port will be crucial and vital to the movement of goods and that multiple projects will be within the area that will both benefit and enhance the region. The meeting was open for public comment where individuals said that the creation of this par park will have a have lasting harmful effects while others say that the changing that times are changing and it's time Spanish Fork follows suit that and creating this will be a mistake. If Spanish Fork is too healthy for you, please replace farming and farmland with an industry with an inland pork, a huge warehouse industrial trucking facility which will generate more harmful air pollution. If you go into these modern warehouses, if you get a chance to maybe get inside Amazons in Utah, they are incredible. There's not what the public thinks of a warehouse, something out of the 50s where some low paid person is being paid to stack pallets in a corner of a dark uh, dingy warehouse. That's not this. The motion for the park was passed and UIPA says that if you have any further comments, public comments, concerns, questions, that you can send them anything on their website. Reporting live from Spanish Fork, Annika Johns, ABC4 News.